Is Orlando Brown just stuck in character? Because it kind of seems like this man just cannot seem to forget who and what happened to him. I, I, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. But we saw something the other day and we thought, what the? The way Jesse says it. Uh, you know what? You know what? Watch for yourself and, and we'll come back and talk about what you saw and what our thought process is about Orlando. Uh, take a look. We gonna get to the <laughs> All right, say what you want. I don't I look, I don't care who you are out there. That's not normal. No normal functioning person does what he does. But here's what our thought is that he is technically just stuck in character. He cannot find himself because he has been so inundated with what's happened to him on when he was a child and you know concurrently when he was growing up in Hollywood that he can no longer find out who he actually is. And the only way for him to be accepted by the public is to act like they tell him to. He has to stay in character. If he leaves that character, one, he doesn't know who he is and two, he risks being, I don't know, deleted. In this situation, there's two things you can look at it. Either he really is cuckoo or or he has realized there is a niche for me where i can behave like this and people will never ask me another question and i will make my money we kind of think it's the first but not for the reasons you might think you see charlton or charleston charleston white encountered him in an interview the other day and i think orlando kind of threatened him i'll beat you and then charleston said something to him that was profound but i don't know not really profound but but true you're not gonna fight me because you didn't fight the people that did this to you you, you say a lot of big games and you talk, 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 but you're not going to fight me. You couldn't even fight them. How are you going to fight me? You would fight nobody, oh, nigga. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't admit it to be a <laughs> Hollywood executive. You wouldn't fight nobody, nigga. You didn't fight them niggas at your ass. He wasn't wrong. You spent your whole life, guaranteed, yeah, you were a child and it happened, but you spent your whole life giving into the things people wanted you to do. Now, all of a sudden, someone is talking to you a certain way. You feel that you're going to act, as, but you're not. It's all bluster. It's character. You're a permanent actor now. He is permanently scarred in this direction. Could it have been, could it have been that this is exactly how it was for when people like him were taken, done what they needed to get done with in order to get their point across, in order for them to act right and stay in line? Is this the result? Because it sure seems like it. You as a child on a set, you're an actor. But the producers want a certain type of behavior out of you and you don't want to give it. So they do what they have to do to get that behavior out of you. And they do it consistently enough to the point where you no longer have to be told, you just do. They no longer have to demand, it just happens. And here we have now Orlando Brown walking around giving mm, to a microphone. Now it used to be that was on like a, a, a TV show or a stage show or a circus sideshow event but as a personal thing that you do for yourself that that doesn't seem sane something doesn't seem right is orlando brown stuck in a permanent loop of characterization we believe he is i don't know if there's any hope for him coming out of it either because he's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place he's fighting the machine that got him there and he's also fighting his public image what happens if he does just revert back to what he should be a normal, everyday human being. You know what happens? He loses all his credibility. No one wants to listen to him anymore. He's no longer a public figure, and he now slips into mediocrity, and everyone forgets Orlando Brown. You think he wants that? No, because he's now become addicted to the spotlight. He is now one with the attention that he keeps getting. And in order to keep the attention, you got to take everything one step further every time. You got to go one one up yourself every minute you got to do something way more out of control something way more egregious or something so vile that people will look at you and it's like oh, it's disgusting but they can't look away and, and i believe that is where he's at right now the now mind you charleston white is also a character but at least he has the wherewithal to admit that's what he is he has, at least he's come out and said that's what i am i'm a character and i'm playing it well charleston white is a fictional character oh huh. uh, I mean, everybody called me blue in person. I don't even know if Orlando has that differentiation between reality and, and fake anymore. He, he, he's, he, he might be completely mentally broken. Is this the goal that they have for every one of them? Is to get to, to the place where they can no longer tell reality? Let's, let's, 
answer me this. If you were into a, a movie and you're acting and you're acting and you're doing real good and you are, you're a fairly good actor, then they come to you and say, okay, we're going to need you to up the things a little bit and we want you to do this particular act. And it's completely out of your wheelhouse. Is it something that you've told yourself, I will never do because my moral stance says no. Then they tell you $5 billion if you do it. All, all of a sudden, does your moral compass disappear? Suppose it doesn't. And then they tell you, you will do it. And you're like, no, no, I won't. And they say, okay, this is what we're going to do now. And they proceed to abuse you. And they do that to you over the course of three months. Do you think that your moral code will all of a sudden just disappear? It could. And we believe that's what happened to Orlando. They caught him young, by the way. Don't forget, he's also the same kid that you saw on screen with those black eyes. And we all know what that means. I don't know what I was going to do. But I ain't going to let you punk me off. You punch little flunkies. <laughs> Cooper. I don't think it's character anymore when it comes to Orlando. I think it's permanent. This is who he is now. He cannot break free from this person that he's created. He cannot break free from it no matter what he does because he cannot leave that world for reality. He doesn't, he doesn't even know what's going to happen if he does that. That's going to be some crazy kind of cockamamie scheme to him. Like, what, what am I going to do? I, I can't, no one's going to listen to me. No one. They've created a monster and that's by all and by intent. They, it's, this was on purpose. You see what they couldn't accomplish in Charleston White, where he can go in and out of character. They've now created a monster where he doesn't even know what his character is anymore. That's how mentally broken this man is. There is no solution that I can see in sight. I mean, I'm not a psychologist, but at the same time, what are you going to do to that person? If they can't even relate to you where they are, how are you going to know where to take them? What is real to them? What is their actual personality anymore? If that is all he is, is this all we're going to see of Orlando Brown? This, is this him permanently now? I believe it is. And I don't think he can break free of it no matter what he does. I don't think so. And whoever did this to him is probably sitting down in a corner applauding themselves and smoking a big fat cigar thinking we've done it. And if we did it to one, we can do it to many more. We've told you before, don't put your kids in this situation because they may end up exactly like Orlando did. Except some of them may not have the strong constitution to live through it. The question only remains now is, are we watching the demise of a human being right before us on screen and eventually his end in death while applauding it? Or are we going to try our best to make sure that never happens to another individual ever again?